Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are doing my nails. I am an avid nail lover. I love getting my nails done. I love painting my nails and I discovered this channel. Her name is Emily Susanna and I will leave her channel listed down below but she introduced me to poly gel nails. Now what I understand from poly gel nails is it's basically just gel that you can buy in a tube. You fill up like a little thing stick it on your nail, you cure it, and then you are left with beautiful gel nails. So that is what we are doing today. The brand that we are using is McCart. I did pick this up on Amazon. This kit does retail for about $50 on Amazon, and this will be listed down below as well. They have green ones, purple ones, all the other different colors, so pink's maybe not your thing. If you guys are interested on how to get these nails right here, go ahead and keep on watching. Make sure that if you guys like home decor, you guys like fashion, you guys like makeup, anything like that, you go ahead and hit subscribe. You are probably going to love this channel, so go ahead and join the family. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I have all the gels here. It comes with six different colors. One of these six is clear. It comes with a slip solution, a brush, and like a little spatula, a top and a base coat, a file, an LED light with four glitters. And you have a hollow glitter, you have a white pretty chunky iridescent glitter, a rose gold pink glitter, and then it also came with this really beautiful dark blue, which I think contrasting the pink is amazing. It also came with some diamonds to stud your nails with, as well as some nail forms, and then it came with dual forms. I'm not a professional. I am very, very, very much an amateur, but I wanted to try it out because if I can start doing my own nails, I got my hair, I got my nails, I got my makeup done, I ain't ever gonna need to pay anybody to do anything ever again. I also picked up some of these like almost little rubbery charms. It came in like these really fun ones. These are just like stars, sprinkles, flowers, stuff like that. But then it also came with this set of fruit. So I maybe wanted to see if I could try out any of these. It came with some like pink lemons, which don't exist. Oh, grapefruits, duh. Actual lemons, some strawberries, watermelons, grapes, all that fun stuff. I watched a couple videos this morning on how to actually do and use dual forms. The directions tell you to basically start off with the nail file that comes in the kit. You're going to file off any shine from your nails. Nails are filed, I know, not the greatest, but whatever. I am then gonna go in with the base coat that, again, the kit has in it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have also sized up the dual forms, but I think with those I'm gonna take it one step at a time because I really, I really struggled with them last time. So I'm gonna just set this off to the side right now and then let's go ahead and size up our dual forms. So dual forms are, they basically from what I understand are nail formers. So you fill this up with the gel, you place it on and then you cure it into place. So on the dual forms it has like lines that you can follow in order to get like the shape that you want. I think that this is gonna be the best fitting one for this pinky nail. So I'm just gonna start off one nail at a time. I feel like that is gonna be the easiest. I feel like if I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna get overwhelmed and it's gonna be a disaster like it was last night when I was trying this out. So basically the tip that I saw with a lot of these girls that were doing it was don't over poly gel your poly gel. So don't put so much on. You don't need that much. I also saw where they recommend that you don't, you don't put a lot where the cuticle is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically I'm gonna look at my nail. I'm gonna see where my nail, like my natural nail actually ends, which is right around the six. So I'm gonna keep it really thin up until the six and then the seven and after, I'm gonna do it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna squeeze this out onto the thing. I think that was way too much already. So we're starting off already pretty bad. And then they also said not to use so much slip solution, like keep your slip solution pretty thin. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of push it down lightly. I see that there is already extra coming out. Okay, I'm then gonna take the brush. I'm gonna pick that off. This is already going 20 times better than it was last time for me. I'm then gonna take the slip solution and I'm just going to lightly pull that up. I will link the girl whose channel I watched down below because I feel like her advice is already making this 20 times easier for me. That's what it looks like. We're gonna cure this for 60 seconds on the top and then we are gonna cure the 
underneath for 30 seconds. But I'll probably just end up doing 60 seconds on both sides because that's how long the lamp goes for. Now that the nail is on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch the sides pretty gently, and then what the dual form should do is it should just simply, maybe, pop off. It's not as bad as the other ones that I was doing. Oh no, and it broke, no. I will come back and I will fix that nail at a later time. But that's actually not a bad thing because I kinda wanted to go in with more of like an actual opaque pink, which I think this one is gonna be the girl. This was the, what color is this one? That was the jelly one, so I'm not really into using that one. So this is the one that we're going with. This is the shade 383. So let's fill this up. Take a little bit of the slip solution, not a lot, just a tiny bit. I am then going to push most of it up into the tip. I'm already feeling way better about this one. I think I did it too thin. I think I pushed down too much. Oh no, I have a feeling this one's gonna break off too even though it looks so much nicer. Cause you can kinda see through it. Dang it! I'm gonna go ahead, I am going to finish up the rest of my nails. This one will have to wait to grind off and then I'll probably just do it later. So at the end of the video, you'll actually see like the final set. But once I come back, let's decorate them and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna cure it again and then we're just gonna go ahead and just run through the rest of the nails. as far as the four that I didn't mess up. I ended up buying this little nail drill on Amazon. And I did test it out last night when I was grinding off the nails that were on here that looked horrible. All you do with this one is you just push it on here and then there's like a little dial that you just turn it on and then you can move it to like the speed that you want. So I'm gonna start off a little bit slower and I'm just gonna take this and like grind off the edges. I think in like the harder to reach areas, I'm just gonna take a file. That already looks like a million times better. I know I'm really bad at keeping things in frame, but that's what the clear one's looking like. So these two nails are pretty much done. I think I'm gonna go a little bit shorter with this one. I'm already like a million times more happy with these. Oh my God, I can't even believe this. I'm just gonna leave it how it is right now. I'm gonna finish up this nail shaping it. I do have to charge my camera for a little bit and then we will come back. I might attempt to do it this hand just because we're doing so well right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna charge my camera, finish up this nail, and then we will be back to decorate. So we are back many, many, many hours later. This is what the shaped nails look like. I would say they are not my best. However, they were better than the nails I did last week, which I will throw up right here on the screen. They're not very good. So considering how much better this shape looks, I'm very, very happy with it. Along with the diamonds that I did end up buying with the kit, I also purchased these really cute 
glitters. There are butterfly shapes in all different colors. And then I did use the chunky iridescent glitter on this hand as well as some of the diamonds. Let's go ahead and figure out, I think I wanna do the clear nail, basically the exact same as I did the clear nail on this one where I did the butterflies and then I kinda of did the small studs all over. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's start off by putting the top coat on this nail. used the white and then I used this dark pink on the other nail so I am just going to scoop out a couple of the white and then we'll just kind of grab them at random So that is what this looks like. And then I think I'm gonna do spread it out just a little bit more. Let's cure this. I'm gonna do another coat, and this I'm gonna do a little bit thicker just so that the butterflies are underneath it. And I'm kind of filling in everything. I'm going sideways. And then I'm going to just scoop out a couple of the smallest diamonds. I want it to look just like that and then I'm going to cure it again I guess we'll see and what's what's fun about this is that I'm able to actually do my nails myself and design them myself and get a feel for what I want and I really like it and I can change it as much as I want I think that this kit did retail for I want to say that I bought it for $50 I think these were like six or seven it came with the light it came with so many different colors so even if I maybe don't like the pink long term because again it is pretty girly for me but I do I do really really like it I feel like the aesthetic is so pretty even if I just did this and then did clear coat over the pink I feel like that is such a statement a wax pencil in this moment would do me good but I don't have a wax pencil I have like a wax tip for big jewels but not for small but I think in this moment if I had one it'd do me a lot of good now here's a real question do I keep doing the same pattern all over these nails or do I do a glitter on these I'm thinking I want to do glitter on these and I think I want to put this stuff away so what I think I want to do is I'm going to do glitter all over my thumb and I feel like the glitter is just gonna hide the problems that are occurring with how thin and uneven this gel is but like look how gorgeous that glitter is and this glitter did come with the kit as well it came with four glitters great it's not bad either let me know down below if this is the kind of stuff that you guys enjoy too I'd be more than happy to do more videos like this Just make sure you guys do hit subscribe right down below comment what you guys want to see next I love you guys so so much thank you guys for sitting here and watching me I will see you guys next Sunday for another upload again make sure you guys do hit subscribe and I will see you guys then bye guys